extra protection or braces. And they certainly felt like if he had not left the game last week or two weeks ago against Iowa. Sikowski, second down and short, so he's got a shot to take. Looking for Casey Washington, and he's interfered with. Field goal this season in the first quarter offensively. Here's Chase Brown again. They block it up on the edge. He's all the way down to the Penn State 32-yard line, picks up 18. Sitkowski rolls out, sidearms one to the sideline, and it may have been picked off on a dive. Curtis Jacobs gets the takeaway. Totally unnecessary throw on first down right there by Arger Sitkowski. It's a beautiful job by Jacobs. of First down and tackled in the backfield is Kevon Lee. Four-man rush. Clifford flushed out of the pocket. Gets to the sideline and takes a sack. How about that job by the Illinois defense? After the quarterback throws a pick. Nine. So again, it was more of a numbers thing for Brett to bring them up. But he knows how to recruit and develop offensive linemen. Penn State backed up, and there's the hookup. Clifford to Dotson. The ball pops out, but it's covered up by Parker Washington. Clifford to throw again. Under some pressure. Just hoists one down the sideline. Going up after it is Dotson. 50-50 ball. He won it. What a play by Jahan Dotson. Look at the speed, and now go hunt. Elevate. Out jump three defenders. Well, to fall in the bread basket, and Dotson went up and got it. There's the slam. Loose. Keandre Lambert Smith to the house. Touchdown. And Mustafer, as you can see, out for the season. Play action. Under pressure, and the ball pops out as Sitkowski is hit. It's loose, and it looks like the Nittany Lions have it. They'll have to sort this out. Watch Smith scrape off the left side, time it perfectly. Now I'm unblocked, he sifts his way through. Sitkowski has no vision of him, and he hits him right in the chest. Great play. job. Watch how he moves his helmet to the side here. Recovered by Penn State. A fake by Clifford. Long throw to the sideline and reaching up to haul it in is Brenton Strange, the tight end. He's out of bounds in the red zone. The best again, complimentary parts of their offense. Clifford is going to float one towards the end zone. And that one's broken up. He took a shot for Dotson. Snap high. Was placed down. And he's got it. To midfield and breaking tackles is Chase Brown. It's only the second time in the game that Illinois has crossed the 50. Not already over 100 yards. Instead, they'll just push the pile with the quarterback on third down and two. And Art Sipkowski looks like he has enough. Here's McCray. Cut down, but picked up a first down. Quarterback sneak. Sipkowski pushes the pile. Down to about the two-yard line, very close to the line to gain. Chase Brown spins at the goal line. Is he in? No signal yet. It is a touchdown for the Illini. Field. So third down and eight. It's a four-man rush. Clifford under pressure, and he's going to go down. The pocket collapses. Kalon Tolson got there first. Under pressure, and going down is Sitkowski. The ball pops out. It is a fumble. It is scooped up by Brisker. All the way down to the 21-yard line. Lights out play by Tarper. Discipline. You got contained. If the quarterback comes out to you, keep high on his shoulder. Outstanding by the junior. And then it was Derek Tangelo that came in and finished off. Art Sitkowski to knock the ball out. Shoulder fake by Clifford. Now out of the pocket. Looking for his check down. It's Parker Washington, but he'll lose some territory back outside the 20-yard line. Stout from 40. Has plenty of leg, but he pushed it to the right on a blockbuster trade that saw them swap teams. And now we've got a running back down the sideline all the way out to midfield getting bumped out of bounds is Josh McCray. 
Sitkowski, long throw to the sideline, incomplete. Flag out. Casey Washington got tied up with Joey Porter, and Porter is going to get called for pass interference. Covered. They go one on one to try to get a comeback. Watch the right arm, bottom of the screen, right at the point of breakdown by Washington. Watch the right arm grab right now. See, just that little tug of that jersey. Sitkowski is going to take another shot this time down the left sideline. Incomplete. It's got the distance. It's a line drive, but he pulled it left. Just missed. Another carry for Brown. He's got a first down and more. Out across the 30 to about the 32 yard line. Here's Josh McCray. Blows up the secondary again. Down to the 42-yard line of Penn State before he's brought down. Brown again. Turns the corner. Inside the 30. Down close to the 25-yard line before he steps out. They'll mark him out at the 26. Offensive lineman. Two tight ends. Quarterback sneak on third down and two. And Sitkowski has it again. Conservative. Third down and 15. Sitkowski to throw. He's going to lob one to the right side of the end zone and throw it away. His last attempt, this one, though, from 37. We are tied. Here comes a blitz. Clifford in trouble, and down he goes. Witherspoon does it again. Sipkowski to throw under pressure. Set. Sikowski dumps it off, and again, that was, I think, forward progress stopped in the field of play on Jakari Norwood, so that will take us the to the end of regulation, of regulation time. You're familiar with college football over time, it has been tweaked, though. Again, each team gets a possession from the opponent's 25-yard line, that's through the first two overtime periods, and once we get to the second overtime, you have to go for two if you score a touchdown. If we get to the third overtime, they just alternate two-point conversions until one team scores and the other team does not. Clifford, surveying his options. He's going to take off and try and run. Stays behind the line of scrimmage. Bottled up and brought down. 31-yard attempt for Jordan Stout. State gets their three. Jet sweep. It's a trick play. Casey Washington throws it. And it's broken up. Almost intercepted by Brisker. Got it. There is the freshman. Breaking tackles. Inside the 10. Finally brought down at about the 8 by Jair Brown. Look at Barker off the right side, cross formation. Play action, Sikowski will throw to the back of the end zone, a jump ball incomplete. Joey Porter had Luke Ford pinned up against the back of the end zone with nowhere to go. Arts for McCord. And now it will be on the Illinois defense to see if they can get a stop as Clifford's under center. Straight ahead run, he's not going to get there. Got it. It's a trick play. Here's a flip. Clifford can't catch it. Tyler Warren on the end around pass, the flip from Dunson, and they can't execute. Under throws Clifford. It is Sikowski to throw. Floats it into the end zone. Off the fingertips of Josh McCray. And we play out. McCray out. It's a beautiful throw by Sikowski. Probably the best of the day. McCray just somewhat mistimes his jump. Wow. At this end. Sikowski. He's going to tuck it under. Throws it in the front corner of the end zone. Incomplete. And now Penn State will have a chance to win it.
injured job. Injured player. Luketa, Luketa's like in between, kind of forces that. There's Brandon Peters. He was injured against Washington, uh, Wisconsin. That was last week, or rather two weeks ago. He did practice this past week. That gives us the best chance. And again, you can't just turn the ball or turn around and hand the ball off likely. So in these situations, when you get into this moment, Sitkowski, we're hoping it's nothing significant. He's played tough football. <laughs> Got to get a throw off for Sean Cowell. Steps up, under pressure, tipped ball towards the back end line. They'll run it with Noah Kane, breaks a tackle, breaks another, but gets stood up in overtime on a two-point conversion. Rifles one into the end zone, and it's broken up. Motions back. Brandon Peters, way up over the head of Daniel Parker. No chance. Has to win it again. Clifford, shovel pass. Strange. Stood up inside the one-yard line. Illinois gets another stop. It's at the bottom of the screen. Instead, they'll run it. Penn State tries to pop the run. You want to talk about a football play by 25 Kirby Joseph. They will. Josh McCray, no chance. He lost yardage back to the five yard line. Jet sweep. Isaiah Williams at the goal line. He's in. Illinois got the so Penn State to extend the game. Noah King at the goal line. Is he in? Yes! Both teams on the ground finally convert, and it continues as Penn State is able to answer. So now can Penn State answer once again? They just got it to this one to take the lead. to try and throw. Ticked, incomplete. Action right behind them. Just trying to throw on time into really small windows. Open. Penn State should call timeout. They're not lined up. And they will. Yeah. For Illinois. Brandon Peters, a quarterback. Rolls out. Into the end zone. It is caught. Casey Washington's got It took nine overtimes. Conversion is confirmed. And Casey Washington catches the game winner from Brandon Peters. And Illinois has pulled off the road upset. I'm exhausted. Are you? I, that, no, I, that, that's so much fun. I know that's heartbreaking for Penn State. But you got to credit this Illinois football team. Look at the joy. Look at the joy between their players and coach. Watch Washington at the top. Talked about it. Quarterback, if it's not there, number one early on, wait. Let guys create. Look at Washington throw his hand up. He's looking for the tailback in the corner out. It's not there. Peters, just wait a second. Find Washington backside number three into a spot where the defense is not. This is a great job by Washington. Throw that hand up. Talk to your quarterback. He gets lost. That's what happens when you wait just a second more. As a quarterback, just a little bit of patience. Credit Brandon Peters. To come off the bench and in this moment and to have that play. 
is one of the great things about team sports. 